All right, this isn't needed completely, but this is a trick that really helps me out. It's how to get the unit circle on the TI-84 calculator. So what we're gonna be doing is putting it in degrees mode because the problem is with radians is it won't come out as like pi over two. It's going to be the decimal version of whatever that is. So it's easier to convert from degrees to radians than to convert from the decimal to the decimal out of pi into the radians, so yeah. So first what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to mode and you want it to be in degrees, like I just said. And again, you could do it in radians, but it's just a little bit different window and it's a little bit harder to interpret. And then you want it to be in a parametric equation. Then you go to y equals, and you know that on a unit circle, it's cosine comma sine. So the x1 is going to be cosine of t and then the y1 is going to be sine of t. Okay, and then you're going to go to your window. So the x, uh, I'm sorry, the t minimum should stay at zero, and then the maximum should be 360 degrees since it's a full circle. And then you want it to step by whatever degree you want it to go over. So you can do 10 degrees, 10, 20 degrees, it doesn't matter. But I suggest doing 30 degrees because um, that's easier to interpret on our unit circles and that's what most unit circles go by. So then the x minimum is going to be negative 1.5. The maximum would be 1.5. And then the x scale is going to be 1. And then the y minimum, negative 1. Y maximum should be 1. And then you're going to go over to your graph, and you get this sort of nice circle. It's not great on the TI-84. And then you go to Trace. And here it has, so we're at this point. This is where it starts. And it has x equals 1, y equals 0. So cosine is 1, sine is 0. Then as you go put the right arrow down, it goes up by increments of 30. So then cosine is 0 0.8660254, and then sine is 0 0.5. So we know that usually the unit circle is in like square root of 2 over 2, or square root of 3 over 2, or 2 over square root of 2. So this is more of an easier way to check your work, I suppose, than interpret in the first place, unless you're really stuck, then of course you can always use this. Um, so 0 0.8660254, I believe that's square root of 3 over 2, um, so that would be the cosine, and then the sine is 0.5, which we know is 1 half, and they're both positive, so the answer for 30 degrees is cosine is square root of 3 over 2, and sine is 1 half, and then as you go right, it keeps going up, so that's 60 degrees, 90 degrees, it's cosine 0, sine 1, and then so on and so forth, all around the circle, so yeah.